The history of Tasmania begins at the end of the most recent Ice Age when it is believed that the island was joined to the Australian mainland. Little is known of the human history of the island until the British colonisation in the 19th century. Indigenous people Tasmania was inhabited by an indigenous population, the Aboriginal Tasmanians, and evidence indicates their presence in the territory, later to become an island, at least 35,000 years ago. At the time of the British occupation and colonisation in 1803 the indigenous population was estimated at between 3,000 and 10,000. Historian Lindahl Ryan's analysis of population studies led her to conclude that there were about 7,000 spread throughout the island's nine nations. Nicholas Clements, citing research by N. J. B. Plomley and Rhys Jones, settled on a figure of 3,000 to 4,000. The combination of the so-called Black War, internecine conflict and, from the late 1820s, the spread of infectious diseases to which they had no immunity, reduced the population to about 300 by 1833. Almost all of the indigenous population was relocated to Flinders Island by George Augustus Robinson. Until the 1970s, most people thought that the last surviving Tasmanian Aboriginal person was Truganini, who died in 1876. However this extinction was a myth, as documented by Lindahl Ryan in 1991. European arrival The first reported sighting of Tasmania by a European was on 24 November 1642 by the Dutch explorer Abel Tasman, who named the island Anthonige van Diemen's Land, after his sponsor, the governor of the Dutch East Indies. The name was later shortened to Van Diemen's Land by the British. In 1772, a French expedition led by Mark Joseph Marion du Fresne landed on the island. Captain James Cook also sighted the island in 1777, and numerous other European seafarers made landfalls, adding a colourful array to the names of topographical features. The first settlement was by the British at Risdon Cove on the eastern bank of the Derwent estuary in 1803, by a small party sent from Sydney, under Lieutenant John Bowen. An alternative settlement was established by Captain David Collins five kilometres to the south in 1804 in Sullivan's Cove on the western side of the Derwent, where fresh water was more plentiful. The latter settlement became known as Hobart Town, later shortened to Hobart, after the British colonial secretary of the time, Lord Hobart. The settlement at Risdon was later abandoned. The early settlers were mostly convicts and their military guards, with the task of developing agriculture and other industries. Numerous other convict settlements were made in Van Diemen's land, including secondary prisons, such as the particularly harsh penal colonies at Port Arthur in the southeast and Macquarie Harbour on the west coast. The aboriginal resistance to this invasion was so strong, that troops were deployed across much of Tasmania to drive the aboriginal people into captivity on nearby islands. <laughs> 